Okay, Rob here once again with Market Website Design. I'm here to give you a quick overview on our theme options for themes and templates. So let's get started. As you can see on my screen, here is my pointer. Okay, I am on one of the sample themes. I'm going to scroll up and down really quick. This one here is showing the sidebar right. You can actually have two sidebars. You can change the layout on every single theme with one click. So let's go right into some of the sample stuff here and I'll start showing you how this works. Okay, as you can see on my screen, I'm pointing right here. This is an image that actually shows you what you can do with the layout on every single page on our themes. One sidebar to the right two sidebars you can see two here you can actually turn them both off no sidebars sidebar left sidebar right and sidebar left here's the widgets on every single page right here and here's a little image of what it looks like inside of the page but I will show you a close-up on a live page okay so that pretty much gives you an overview of what you can do with the layout so let's jump right into one of these themes here's a sample one that we have up for filming here's where your logo goes you can actually change your logo with one click and it's controlled by the header widget I'll show you guys that in a second okay here we go we're inside theme options this is a main theme options you can just see all the stuff I'm gonna scroll up and down I do have this on a quite large zoom so things will look out of place but you should be able to see them okay that's a lot of stuff here okay you can do I'm gonna kind of read them off you have header options navigation menu options if I keep scrolling down you have post options featured image options expert pages okay comments sidebars blocks everything I mean there's so much here footer footer override advertisements on short code okay now let's go right into one of the pages so you guys can understand how this really works okay right here you this is inside one page when you guys are configuring your page you're going to see this right here this is your theme options this right here I'm gonna go do a circle around it right here this is what you will see you can turn it off and on make sure it's toggled on okay just gonna toggle that one on and you can see that you can turn off sidebar one sidebar two you can have two sidebars you can just off and on or just turn them both on turn them both off one on or both on you know whichever way you guys want you can turn off the header you can turn off the title very important a lot of people always ask how do you get rid of the title on pages with our te themes it's super easy one click navigation stuff right here so there's just all kinds of things you guys can actually do when you start making pages you can actually tell it that you do want it to be part of a custom menu or not okay so there's all kinds of things here now keep in mind when you import your theme the first time it's going to ask you right here on the theme section this where we happen to be on a page but you will see this as soon as you put your theme in as soon as you upload it's going to ask you to add content always click add content first if you happen to get a update from us just click replace imported content okay so I'm gonna keep moving on here I'm gonna go right into the widgets area like I showed you on the first one right here you can configure these widgets pretty much any way you guys want there's actually 13 of them and this kind of shows you the way the sidebars work as well so let's go right back into the widgets area okay the one of the main ones that you guys are going to be concerned with is this one right here header widget area okay you're gonna click this here and you're gonna drop this code in this is your image code now you're probably wondering if you're new to WordPress and you're not really into code don't let this scare you all this is is this I'm gonna do it really quick so you guys can see how it's done drop in an image click add image and I just drop one in you should have some kind of WordPress experience with the editor if you are working with WordPress a lot of people say it's super easy to work with WordPress and then they get frustrated always have experience at least a couple months don't try to be the person that just wants to hurry up and build something then it comes out not the way you expect it you need experience to work with WordPress I just wanted to get that out there anyhow as soon as you drop in your image go ahead and click text and just copy this this is the image code that's it that it writes on its own you're just gonna copy this that's it okay and you're just gonna go right in here you're gonna drag over this text widget right here okay from here just gonna drag it over 
you're going to open this up I've already dropped it in copy and paste you don't have to put anything here and just make sure that this is on sidebar def default drop in your code and hit save that's it now what that does is it actually puts your image right here now you can configure your image to be any way you guys want it's going to tell you on each theme the size the recommended size that you should be working with now of course this is a square image with a border uh, if you're going to make something custom it should be a png image with no background no border and it will actually uh, look perfect this is just for you guys to understand where your logo should go and how it's done so i hope you guys get a pretty good understanding on all the theme options and this comes in with every single one of our themes please click on the links below for more information or contact us on our support link if you need anything else okay we will see you guys on the next video thank you